there are more options than ever before to spend your 4600 SC points on. Based on what kind of player you are, I will tell you exactly what the best way to spend them is. Let me just start with the way I will be spending them, 7 of KPEX. As a trader, you want to have the coins as soon as possible so you can reinvest those coins and make time do the work for you. In the past years, expensive meta players with a minimum price of 30,000 coins saw an extreme rise in the first few days of the Ultimate Edition release. So the sooner you get the players or the coins to buy the players, the more money you will make. When you open the 7 of K-Packs, make sure you sell everything that has any value in it. Of course, if they're under 30k, because above that, you might want to keep them and let the rise do the work for you. But everything that's under 30k will probably drop in price because there's going to be more supply than demand. So make sure you sell them right away when you get them. Every item that's in those packs that has barely any value and that takes ages to sell on the market, just quick sell them. This method will give you at least 100,000 coins. And if you invest it right away, the Monday or Tuesday after, it can be up to 150,000 coins or maybe even 200,000 coins. But if you don't care about trading or investing at the start, there are five more options to spend FC points on. The first one still has to do with packs, but is waiting till there's like a promo team in packs to have more fun opening the packs. There might be even promo packs then to make it even more fun to open packs. But if you still care somewhat about coins, make sure you open a 7 off K packs because those are still best value for money. The second and third option would be drafts, either online or offline. If you're good at the game and you almost always reach the semi-finals of the online draft, go for the online draft. It is most likely faster but can also give you better rewards, especially if you reach the final or win the final. But if you lose in the semi-final, you get a 7 off K pack and a 15k pack, which is 50% more than if you would spend the points on packs. This also means you will make at least 150,000 coins from all these drafts, but of course, it takes some time. And if you're that good at a game that you're almost always in the final or win the final, that could go up a lot more. If you're not good at the game and you're not confident that you will always reach the semi-final, go for the offline draft. And the difficulty doesn't change the rewards at all. It's something that a lot of people apparently don't really know, but you can play on beginner and get the same rewards as if you would play on ultimate or legendary. So just play on beginner, score one goal, AFK, and win the game. Winning the final of the offline draft will give you the same rewards as losing in the semifinals of the online draft. Of course, sometimes they can be better, but in general, 7 off K pack, 15 K pack. So the offline draft will also give you 150,000 coins, unless you pack something big, then it's going to be even more. But it will also take you like 15 hours to complete. In my opinion, not worth the time. If you don't really care about coins and you just want to enjoy the game, Evolutions is another way to spend your FC points on. Just save your points and whenever there is a paid evolution, you can use those points to start your evolution. Usually 500 FC points can save you like 100,000 coins on an evolution. So in that sense, it might even be the best value for money. And this year we got even another option to spend FC points on and that's a premium season pass. Yes, EA is going to charge money for that now as well. We will have a free season pass, but there's also going to be a premium season pass that you can spend FC points on and probably also coins. But we don't know the exact things that are going to be inside of it. We don't know if it's just going to be cosmetics or if they're going to be packs in it or maybe even players. And who knows, maybe they're even putting some FC points in it. Probably not though, because it's EA. But since we don't know what is inside it yet, we don't know if it's worth it to buy instead of opening packs or any of the other methods that we just mentioned. One of the downsides though of a season pass is that the big rewards are going to be towards the end and you won't reach the end until a few weeks into the game. So in general, I don't think that's worth it, but we got to see how much coins it would be, how much FC points it would be and what everything inside is. But when we know that, I will make sure I pin a comment in this video and let you know my opinion if it's going to be worth it, yes or no. I'll be, by the way, live every day on Twitch and TikTok as soon as the web app drops. So if you have any questions or you just want to vibe with us or want to watch me what I do, make sure you join one of those live streams or if you have questions, just comment down below and I'll make sure to answer every question. Hopefully this video was helpful. Enjoy the FC25 grind and I'll see you in the next one.